Hello everybody, I have got myself a gimbal <laughs> so I'm going to try this out with this video today and see how it goes Take a deep breath, come sail with me We'll fly with the upstreams, no limitations Join with me busy busy man what's been happening right first of all i managed to get myself a grade 8 classical perform singing performance certificate from abrsm that's the associated board of the royal schools of music for those of you who are not familiar with the initials abrsm so yes um i got that on saturday so well chuffed with that so it's onwards and upwards more coming up with the classical side in the future so um stay tuned for that so what else have i been doing i have been doing the fledermus uh with dutch opera we did two nights in falmouth last week um very busy venue uh, a lot of fun a lot of fun i had the speaking part i was sylvia and i was um asked to use my lovely broad scottish accent so um i hope that came across very well on stage sorry i'm just moving this a little bit because um i'm just trying to suss it out a little bit i'm not sure if this is a good idea or not but we'll see what happens um what else Purcell's Dido and Aeneas, I got the part of Second Woman. We did two shows at the weekend there, Saturday and Sunday, and I had so much fun. I have been living and breathing this score for the last six weeks. Um, every time I was in my car, let's put my certificate out of the way. Every time I was in my car, it was on constantly. Um getting used to the words, getting used to the melodies, getting used to my part. Because <laughs> um, I was off score completely, six weeks. Chorus work and the second woman, all off score. And um, all my parts, second woman, uh, a couple of drop-ins. <laughs> A duet with Belinda. And a little solo as well. living and breathing that score for the last six weeks and it's still in my head and I don't want to let it go because I'm, I just enjoyed it so much I'll pop some pictures up um, and I'll pop little snippets of videos in but there will be videos coming up on my YouTube as the year goes on um, so you will get to see that staged in Tynmouth in Devon um, on the Saturday night and staged in Chudley in Devon again on the Sunday night so that was like Sunday there because this is Wednesday so it's like only four days ago the weekend prior to this Wednesday we um, we all had a lot of fun a lot of fun it was lovely and I got I got two roses as well yes as I was saying I got two roses as well I got the white one was for you see that the um, the Saturday night and the pink one is for the Sunday night. So I'm well happy with that. It was lovely, really nice. Smell lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So um, yes, 
I'm um, just busy, 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 busy. I was absolutely shattered on Monday because it was a case of we did um, a week past Saturday, we did a full rehearsal for Dido and Aeneas. And on the Sunday, we were doing a rehearsal for Duchess De Flair Mouse. And on the Monday, we had a tech rehearsal for De Flair Mouse. And on the Tuesday, we had a re dress rehearsal for De Flair Mouse. Um, and on the Wednesday, we had a night off, which was really needed. Um, on the Thursday, we did the production to a live audience and on the Friday we did the production to a live audience both for the Flader Mouse and then on the Saturday um, it was um, Purcell's Dido and Aeneas for Red Earth Opera Ooh, so that was like bits in the afternoon and then the production at night and that was in Tynmouth and on the Sunday again we did a little bit of rehearsal on the Sunday afternoon for Dido and Aeneas with Red Earth Opera and then we did the production on the Sunday night, and but it was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. And like I said, I don't want to let go of Dido and Aeneas because I had so much fun with that production. It was great. Just great. Um, okay, so we'll put that to one side for the now. Uh, what else has been happening? Um, cover of the month is Dream Theatres, Our New World. Um, it doesn't seem to be getting a lot of plays. It doesn't seem to be too popular. Um, it was suggested by a listener as well. Um, so if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, that's the wrong side, isn't it? It's that side. Then again, I've turned the camera, so it might be that side. Who knows? I'll pop a link up. <laughs> um, and, um, oh yes, Easter Hymn. I sang with Red Earth Opera in Exeter a few months ago. What's this? June, May, April. I think it was March or April, I can't remember exactly which month. That is on my channel now as well. It was released on the 8th of June. So go check that out too. Um, the full song, I'm singing Santuzza's solo part in it. <laughs> doing Santuzza's parts at the end where she hits the top B so I had fun doing that yes I did um, beautiful harmonies in the song conducted by Jane Anderson Brown who runs Red Earth Opera um, yeah a lot of fun a lot of fun so I think I will leave it at that that's quite a lot of um, information to absorb <laughs> um, my band Storyland will be doing a gig on July I will give you more information about that in July. So that's going to be a lot of fun. That's going to be a full two-hour gig. We're all looking forward to that. It's been a little while since I've been out gigging and I'm busy with all the classical stuff at the moment. But um, yeah, so we'll be doing that. So I hope you can make it along there at some point if you're in Cornwall. Anyway, have a fabulous day and I will see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>